All right, this is Rusted Root Farms Aquaponic Greenhouse unveiling. So there's our electrical panel, completely waterproof. We got our pump system, complete with a reservoir and bubble bee filter from AST. We've got three 210 gallon tanks, uh, only two of which are going to be run initially. The third one's kind of acting as a sump right now. And then we've got our deep water channels. We've got a, uh, a 24 foot and a 32 foot, and then we've got a 40 foot over here on the right hand side. The grow beds, I'm sorry, the DWCs have been lined with uh, Durascrim. Seems to be a popular, cheaper choice for lining these. It's not really um, user friendly to do the corners and that kind of stuff because it's so tough, but. Um, it's a good price point and it works pretty good. So um, on the backs of these beds, there is a, an external stand pipe uh, that isn't complete yet. So it kind of looks, it looks too short, but essentially there'll be a, a smaller stand pipe inside of a three inch pipe. So the, the stand pipe out here will actually set the level inside the bed. So I don't have a stand pipe inside the, the channels. Uh, which I didn't want. I wanted that to interfere with the rafts and stuff. Uh, but essentially we've got the the big DWC is supplied um, by the uh, the pump and comes down here and drains and it will drain back to the sump. And then the middle size bed, which is a 32 foot, is going to drain into the smaller bed, uh, the, the uh, 24 foot bed. And Basically, after this one gets done, it drains back into the sun. So we've got a three bed system, but only one bed is all by itself in terms of supply. And then the, uh, the drain, and then the other two are linked together, kind of like the UVI system, um, just a very small scale. So this bubble bead filter happens to be the XS6000, uh, so it's a bit oversized for this operation. Uh, the fish we've got at the moment are just goldfish, um, we wanted to start out simple since we don't have any experience. We're going to start out with a very simple uh, fish species, one that's pretty hardy and uh, will we'll serve us well. We've got 500 across these two tanks, what we did before mortality took over, so probably about 400 is, uh, is what we've got at this point. So this is the system we're going to start out with. Um, we've got to start our seedlings here pretty soon and get our rafts made to put onto the tables and uh, after that we should be growing some plants so uh, check back with us next time and we'll show you some plants